In this video, I want to talk about one rule that you should always be following to get more professional looking cinematic videos. So I don't want to waste your time. If you do enjoy this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a nice comment and subscribing. It'll help push this video to new audiences as well as help my channel out. But either way, let's just get right into the video. So there are essentially three different sections to any photo or video. So you of course have the subject, which is you know either a person or an object that you're taking a photo of or a video of. And this is gonna be the main subject of your video. So for example, with what you're seeing right now, I'm the subject of the video, I'm the main focus, I'm right in the center of the screen, which isn't always the case, but in this case, I'm right in the center of the screen, and I'm also what you're looking at in this video. So the subject is the main part to any photo or video. But there's also, of course, the background, which is everything you see behind the subject. And typically, the background isn't the focus of the photo or video. However, it can help to draw attention to your subject. For example, if there are leading lines in the background or something like that, or, you know, some sort of light in the background that kind of just helps draw your attention to the subject of the video. That alone can really help make your videos look more professional, just knowing what's in your background and kind of directing what is in the background to help focus the attention onto the subject. However, there's one more part to pretty much any photo and video that most people never really think about, and that is the foreground. And so this is something that in most videos, nobody really thinks about. Everybody thinks about the subject, everybody thinks about the background, because those are the two main things that you can see. So just like the background, the stuff right here, this isn't directly in focus. However, you can utilize the foreground almost just as much as you can utilize the background to help draw attention to your subject, make the video and the frame look more interesting, and overall just make your image look more cinematic and professional. But the main use case for utilizing your foreground is going to be to express movement in your video. So with any type of camera movement you're going to be doing in your video, whether it's putting your camera on a slider and moving left to right, or on a gimbal and moving around forward and backward, anything like that, that having at least something visible in the foreground as well as the background will help to show what's called a parallax and it really expresses movement a lot more than if just the subject was visible you really wouldn't notice movement as much at all and one way you can really notice this is let's say you have a product that you're taking a video of if you have a complete white background and then you're setting it on a white surface as well and just everything around it is white or really I guess you could say any color and you take your camera and have some sort of movement around it you know to add something to your shot rather than just a stable shot, you are not going to notice that movement and it just won't look as good as if there's something kind of out of focus in the foreground, just a little bit, you know, touch in the sides or the corners or something like that, as well as other stuff in the background that you can also see move and have that parallax movement look while you're doing that pan or that, you know, move forward or backward, whatever camera move you're doing, having something in the foreground and of course the background will add that extra depth to your shot and show that movement a lot more than if you just had nothing else to look at except just your subject. And again, even in cases like this, this table is the foreground. It's not really in focus, but it kind of just draws you here. It gives you something else to kind of cover the scene up. And if I got rid of this, you know, I'll just zoom in just on my face right here. This isn't the best example, of course, but it just, it looks more plain. There's less drawing your attention to any part of the frame. It's more of just, you're trying to figure out what the subject is. You're kind of looking around. It might not even be something you're always gonna notice, but your brain is gonna be looking around, looking for the subject. It'll be a lot harder for your brain just to go directly to what the subject is. You're gonna be looking around a lot more when there isn't those leading lines and those little clues that are drawing you to the focus of your video. But I hope that kind of explained the importance of you utilizing your foreground. Definitely the best way to learn this and to gain experience utilizing your foreground is just to practice. So definitely go out there and just test things out and try it out and see what works best for you. But either way, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this, if it helped you out in any way, please consider dropping a like, subscribing, and leaving a comment. It'll really help push this video to new audiences as well as my channel. But that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.